Hazan Avik Vamger Giyu Hasser Dah Jahas Zapi Zang Zum Zum Mubz Zaztav. So any initial impressions about the Sawan chant? Uh, just, well, in, in general, um, a lot uh, of death and, you know, seeing through these veils it has, has come to me. Um, I don't think I have anything related to death exactly in the chant this time, but... Um, Right, right. This um, this is coming from uh, an experience uh, a few days ago, and um, yeah, just uh, veils and seeing through those veils and not being afraid to, uh, you know, when when a, when further transformation when you feel it come in. Like I can feel further transformation from within, and you know I've never been afraid of it ever, and it's like um, there's more within, and I feel like it's about to make itself known. I guess you could say, and um, so so yeah, it's it's hard to put into words. Um, and speaking of the uh, the of the um, the seasonal itself, we refer to the four uh, same four daughters of Mer um, in order seasonal order. Marat. Oh wait, no, no, uh, I covered it with the thing. Um, Martazaraz. Marat, Mur, Murataz, and so Mu, and Sationa, and Mecca. Um, there's different variations of the of the name there, but we'll get into that later. Um, the as you see, I've I've composed uh, I've on a on a few slices of wood. I got the sigils, and the new sigil for this year, which relates to one of the words that we have here. Um, let me find. Um, okay. That top piece, I'm really drawn to. Hush, or hush, is how you pronounce it. But I've shown you this sigil, yeah. and the word that is the, our second word relates to that. Um, so both insanity and um, ending, you could say, is part of that. Mm -hmm. Um, because certainly one of the things, one of the things people don't get about my content is that my content itself is, is a ritual. Mm -hmm. I think, um, mm -hmm. and a sir, a sir. Well, oh wait, I, I found it. Um, and then I lost it. I'll, I'll come to that when I get to that. But um, so we, we went over this uh, cosmology and its chance last time, and we'll go over it this time. You don't want to have content that's so it's liberal stereotype. Um, I was stereotype breaking liberal, but not in the um, political sense, like an actual liberal of some sort. Okay. And it also relates to armor, so that fourth word is of that. Zestav is feet, 
and Zimzim is winter. And related to winter, I, I can't show it on the screen. I'm not showing up ever since, you know, the past four months, five months, I think. I've uh, Things work, but then again, I, I don't show up predictably um, on the camera, which right. I'm not sure if I even got a new computer that they would let me show up, right? Um, right. But remember, I got my uh, my seasonal, uh, my for the, for the dark quarter of the year. People don't get what I mean because it's it's it used to be what people meant by winter. Winter was the darkest time of year. Summer was the brightest time of year. It starts to cool down August to uh, uh, August through October, and so that would be called the cooling quarter and the warming quarter, um, starting in February to to you know to the start of May. Um, so that's what I mean by that. So I would have my bear ring, my bear claw ring. Did I tell? I didn't tell you what happened two Sundays ago. Or I pr probably did, but two Sundays ago, I was, you know, I was going to go walk in the moonlight under the full moon, and I heard this loud, voracious sort of like eating sound or something like that. I don't know what it was, like bear or, or a boar or something. I'm like, whatever it is, I'm not dealing with this in the middle of the night. It sounded bigger than a, than, than, than a dog or something, and it, it didn't sound like a deer. And I'm like, no, no, just, just like when I was doing temple work. Since then, uh -huh. since then, there was a night I was doing temple work and something scratched at the temple and snarled. Wow. And I'm like, uh -huh. I am not going out. Uh, one, I was in the middle of my ritual, so I was going to leave it. Uh, and two, I'm like, as long as this thing doesn't try to get in, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave things be. But whatever it is, I'm sure it heard me. Right on. Now, I was in there and, and, and a deer bumped into the thing. And I found something interesting about deer. If you cut open the hooves before they go, whatever, you can get these nice little bones, this set of bones. And it's like, you know, they, they're four-sided and they're kind of like dense and they per make, make a perfect oracle of 16. So you can, you can do that. Um, these four little huckle bones are called, um, but sort of like the urim and thummim, that kind of comes from there because instead of using fluorite, they would have used those bones. Um, but any, anyways, um, so the what I came up with to represent the season, we mm -hmm. enter into the leaden abode of death and spirit. We've laid down the seeds to mix with the earth and the entities to settle in the season of sleep. Evaluate your auto-suggestion. Manipulate your actual limitations. Berate the mere conceptions. Beyond real and unreal is an opposition. Night becomes fluid with sensation. With our might, we go forward into the white room to drink of the silver cup or fall into the black point with the gold plate. Three, four, and nine upon this tenth is what we've been told. An amoral apocrypha still bears distinction to souls. Sold is the initiate and the false ego's destruction. It is for each to become as them in creation. The positivity, neutrality, and negativity, and negativity of the Athila Amnesa and Astroba is in the kingdom. Body, mentality, energy, and emotionality drive us to union. With belief and unbelief, further will be written. We are taken beyond obsession in our reality.
And then I say the chant again. Hasser Dah Jahas Zapizus Zim Zim Mibs Zestav. Eventually, we are asked the questions. Each phenomenon of descent tells the secrets of ascension by variety and individuality non-judgment, philosophy, sociality, consent, accountability, and a lack of limiting exclusivity, we have accepted our promotion. Open to space, matter, and time. A hooded dwarf takes us beyond the horizons. And what are your Perceptions. Um, well, this. just simply, just simply looking at this sigil that's on the um, the board, the uh, red, black, and white. Now, the white is I'm drawn to that, and it also I feel, I feel, and see how I can connect um, this to. Uh, uh, hallucinations uh, per se um you know not all hallucinations are of a, uh, of a spiritual um way of being in um, some hallucinations well that's that's are. the difference between insanity legally and otherwise if it's your religious thing it's not insanity right. but if it's your yeah. other thing it is and uh, visions, uh, visions. Uh, so yeah, I may in comments, I may elaborate a little bit more on this. Um, my experience, you know, with hallucinations uh, versus visions, and uh, yeah. So I'll I'll put that in the in the comment. Uh, was it was the... it Adolf Huxley? Adolf Huxley talks about um, hallucination, not necessarily as even a delusion. It's um... Well, I mean, in a religious sense, if you, you know, experience it's, how, it's it, it uh, you know, it doesn't have to mm -hmm. differentiate between reality and not. Okay, mm -hmm. so the cross quarter, so it's 1118 a.m. tomorrow. I mean, this is being released on Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. We've cut it at the last moment, right? Um so that is the exact moment of the cross quarter, which is solid proof that Samhain, S-A-M-H-A-I-N, is not Halloween. It's not All Saints Days, All Souls Days. It never has been. Um, it's always been. It was always the cross quarter until the neo pagans decided we're just going to mimic the Christian holidays of Saint John's Day and and mm. Lamas and stuff like this. And rather than picking the monuments line up. There's a replica, the adjusted replica of Stonehenge made in, I think it's on the Washington side of the gorge. I've been there. Um, I, ha I don't have any video from there. And I'm not even sure I know if I have any pictures from there, but I've definitely been there repeatedly. And it lines up to mark the solstices and the, uh, uh, the solstices, the equinoxes and the points in between. And it, that's a little bit adjusted, but the real Stonehenge does the same thing. I've seen books from the 60s and stuff. It's like, if Halloween is the week before, why is this alignment there? If this is, you know, the week before, why is the alignment there? So the ancients really use the cross quarters, but all over the world, there's actually monuments that, that mark these things. But the neo-pagans just want to pick up with whatever, and I... I don't like that. That's part of the reason why I don't like the term. The term neo often refers to things that don't refer to anything. Neo-Nazi doesn't refer to it's, it's like I'm not racist or nationalist or whatever. But the, the um, you know what I mean? It doesn't really refer to the same thing that the Germans and the Jews before the media took over the term, you know, used it. They didn't use the term that way. The Nazism were a specific group of of elite going back a thousand years prior or something like that, you know. 
um, pagan, pagan referred to how the Romans split up when they conquered a land, they split it up into farming and working segments. If you do that, you're a pagan society. Now, America is sort of all inhabited, but when it first had, you know, they'd have a contact. Whoever could, whoever could run out and make a land claim, whoever could pay the government for a small portion of land or whatever, you know, you, know, you could go to the office and you could say, you know, if you make it out to this area, it's yours. Um, and so that's how it worked. But, you know, are we still pagan because that's how our country was established? Probably we could say that um, as long as you have the culture of if you ever have, if you even would have land that you, whatever, in heathen, heathen, you have woven homes, you have a heart, you have a fireplace, all that sort of stuff. So all these people, it's like, okay, if you have gas, it's probably a good idea to have if you have a gas tank and all that stuff. But you know what I mean? You know, if you have a fireplace and all that stuff, you're technically probably heathen. Um and I, I sh showed before, um, I, you know, so, uh, so I made the things out of, out of wood there. Um, this is the symbol that came to me in my dream. And um, I might, I might as well uh, show you, uh, um, okay. I'm not sure where it is. So I'm, I'll, I'll scroll back up. But this is in Nargargal Schlod's uh, book. This is yet a further ritual that I've gotten from that. Um, Epistles of Lord Satan. Um, okay, that, that's on that graphic. Okay. I'd hope to get him on the channel for an interview. I've been authorized to do to use his material a bit more freely than I might some other groups. Um mm -hmm. And so I might as well, because we're going over quickly here. So we have the sigils. We, ha we have the sigils um, that the, the, the board shows that. Is, uh, do I have the board on the screen? I don't have the board on the screen. Um, no, it's the first uh, sigil. But I, I have an altar. Uh, I, 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 added some bones to my Samhain altar, but I also am using a sh shell. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't, so this, this is intended to add to it. And it was such a, I haven't seen a sh shell like, I haven't found a shell this good in, since my childhood. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the whole graphic from where I'm yeah. showing, but yeah. that's, definitely what i right. intended there and i have some bones that i've gathered from animals part of a skull some other bones there about all all gathered into here which is my my place set up mm -hmm. i don't know whether that's a cat or what that thing is and part of a deer bone at least you hope it's a deer bone you're not not human bones or something uh but no it's it's a deer bone um <sighs> So one of the things here, I've selected some verses. I don't know if we're going to get to it this time around. Um, but so from the Quran, we got 1562, 26, 27, 37, 36, 44, 14, 51, 39, and 52, 52, 29, 78, verse 2, 51, and 52. And... 8122 um you know it's 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 important sometimes to use different different mythological references in your own way and kind of get yourself into the thing um I, I i wanted to say this i'm not sure if i said this during this conversation but one of the things that i have i do my my content it's it's a magical it's a spiritual it's a religious whatever you want to call it practice um which also accentuates the thing well why aren't you showing your why don't you physically show up in most of the thing it's like it's not about me if the book's old enough that i if the physical book is old enough that i can point the camera at the book i point the camera at the book um i point the camera out in the forest and and uh, or, or at some animal or, or something um 
or some object or whatever as I can. I use graphics in the background instead of me sitting there reading because it's not about me. It's about the practice. Um, somebody said recently uh, that it's like, but then again, uh, you know, you know, you know, because like the become a living God stuff, they edit that stuff, even their eyes and all that. You don't know how people feel. You don't know what they're experiencing mentally or or if they, uh, they're encountering some spiritual world, that's not showing up on camera. So why in the world are you making it about you in the middle, whatever? Um, I understand maybe there's the gesture. Personally, I'll trace the sigils that you see on the on the thing with, um, you know, as as I as I do things. And I, of course, when I made the sigils in, uh, you know, when, when I when I use the when I made the sigils. Um, on the thing, I followed the order. I drew them in the order shown. But as you notice from these pieces, I do not use the order in terms of, you know, um, I don't draw the arrows. Wow. And so that's that's pretty much it with that. Um, and from the Bible, we have Deuteronomy. 28 28 and verse 34 second kings 9 11 and verse 20 zechariah 12 4 hosea 9 7 jeremiah 28 26 first samuel 21 15 ecclesiastes 1 17 2 12 7 25 9 3 matthew 12 23 mark 212 321 542 651 Luke 8 56 and 24 22 John 10 20 um oh there's a lot here in acts a lot of wondering about being crazy maybe Paul I don't know um acts 2 7 and 12 8 9 and 11 and 13 9 21 10 4. Is it 45? Oh, I guess that is verse 45. 12, 15, and 16, 26, 24, and 25. First Corinthians 1, 18, and 21, and 23, 14. Uh, I mean, you know, chapter 14, verse 23. Second Corinthians 2, 14, 3, 19, and 5, 13. Second Peter 2, 16, and... That's it with those. Um, but so you can uh, you can say almost vampirically, a person uses the power of the myths of the past and the references that people have to it. Um, it gives people of different faiths an option to follow along. I'm not claiming any particular. I don't. I don't think that Paul and his buddies were inspired. They 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 themselves went back and forth with their philosophy. Now, I value philosophy, but I'm not going to mislabel philosophy as inspiration or revelation. Um, maybe the book of Revelation was based on a dream, but then again, it's a rewrite of another text to such close extent that that was based on a dream, but the Christian version um, probably wasn't. And remember those seven churches, those seven churches were basically like, base, uh, uh, I used to have more people over to do these seasonals and all this stuff. Before I did the stuff on the internet, I did the stuff, you know, right over a couple neighbors, a couple friends, that sort of thing. And, and, right. you know, back, back when I could still afford to host a small little dinner, but, um, yeah. um, but the, uh, so, you know, there, there's, there's that going on. Um, why I, I, I saw, I noticed that when I got the insanity sigil, that um, it was the th sort of the, sort of like the Sanskrit letter the f and the v same sort of same town sort of thing you have the you know the semex sort of sound and the poth sort of sound of the sh um so those are the letters that formed in sort of archaic greek so it kind of put all those letters together um and so that is um where that where that comes from and you know um but I don't have an archaic Greek thing to see if you combine all the four letters that aren't included in what you call classical Greek, if that is one of the things you're going to use. But um, 
So we have the, the chance. So the elemental chance are earth, air, fire, water. And that would be and so we have Kavwasm, which also means vibration and earthquake, that sort of thing, but it means earth. Zibbi, air, orizixis, fire, zolis, water. And remember with Lizuvamu, uh, uh, Lizuvama, the, the I's can also be as E, the E's can also be as E, the O's can also be as a, uh, and the u's can also be as, uh, I mean, the o is a, uh, and uh, not long like o, but, and the u also is is either a short or a long u, a uh, or u. Um, so the, it's, you know, my experience has given way to some sort of environmental, uh, some sort of thing. Um, and you see on the chart, I've sort of arranged them as a tree of life, the the sigils. Not exactly, but you know, I'll, 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 the order I go over, it goes, it gets into that. And, and we have the sigil on the book, which I've, I've, uh, it's part of my joke. If you see those videos, I end it, hail satin. And... <laughs> Of course, that's that's a joke in the first place. But the, the um, uh, I I I I wonder if my my channel introduction video that I came up with for Odyssey, uh, if that was if 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 people misunderstood that without reading the directions. I'm sure somebody did. One of the things is I I do eight seasonals. That's why I repeated that one thing eight times. So the name of the ultimate a causal. That's that's what the thing, and you're trying to do everything in the current. Um, different modes, all that stuff. But, you know, so since it looks like a bra and panties, I said, uh, you know, it's, it, it's a double meaning into that one thing. Uh, so that, that that's, that's the thing that I've pointed out with that. And in a way that represents all the elements. So it represents all the elements, but you know, there's, there's that going on too with that. Um, and sort of the earth sigil, which is a 10th sigil is that overlapping double triangle thing that you have there. And so the chance for the sort of satanic regarding the satanic trinity is okay. Let me let me make sure I got the right order with them. Um, okay. And I mispronounced that one a slightly bit, but, um, you know, because we have the word for space there. So that's the chant for Moo. Um, he have a sleeve six zero zero lum as bungs the bism real as bungs the bums. And that's the chant for say, take e. Ona, um, you know, there's the three variations. Uh, there's the two variations of that. Um, and we have Zura Riora Kumbuabam Husbugsum 
And so Mecca is like entity of magic. It's sort of, as I said, it's sort of like a satanic trinity, sort of like some of the Mesopotamian ones. You got Tiamat and Kingu and 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 uh, you know those those sort of arrangements. So you have a uh it's it's like the Tun or Tum in Palestinian. It comes from Tiamat. And while Tiamat's later than the Tum uh Tun Tum Tum Tum, uh, you know, words like that. Uh -huh. So basically mother of and then Mecca's off to the side. And then you have the four daughters that are produced. And then you have these nine ones. Um, whereas was it El Malian? Amlalian? Matsalian? Mazalian? You know, there's some variation with some of these names. Uh -huh. Does Alion? Does it Alion? I see. Alion? Children of. Analion? Anna Leon? Anno Alion? And as I said, I've, I've been trying to do different details from the Epistles book each uh -huh. year. I did do something referencing his um, Gnosticism book. But um, so here we have, you know, you have that sigil there. So the opening and the dwarf takes beyond the horizon. You know, so the uh, the dwarf, you know, it's, it's a mystical guardian. But here are the sigils for the guardians in order. And... And remember, start at your head and go to the right shoulder, left shoulder, and go down the body like that. Ivrixis <laughs> Lingoi Garzolum Kulti Avak Vonzolum Lingoi Pazi Zuvenuzolum Nimbanazet Nimbanazet Nangalzolum Pazi Zu. Oh, that's supposed to be Nagzorlam. Okay. Um Real Chavakrazorlam Yanal Na and so those nine we know uh, you know there's different things for each of those. So the questions being asked. So they're not just guardians, they're question givers. And if you have any thoughts, I'm going to try to look up some of the meaning of the chants and I guess in further programs, you know, you got the knees, Zial Muzab, the hand, Ab Vamur, so there's two of those. You got the pelvis, Al Nuz Chabo, the elbow, Lidvoy, the chest, 
the unknown face, Zulbism, shoulder, Pze, Yazu, the head, real Chibuch, and there are some other words that come up amongst that, but so we have a place in the body. We have whether you experience that literally or not. So it's it's sort of a it, it, it's in a way a hermetic. Uh, it, it's sort of a yoga thing, sort of a tantra thing, however, whichever approach one wants to take to it. Um, rather than rather than this, it's. But it's not really right hand path or left hand path in the way that, you know, whichever flow you're going to use is whichever flow you're going to use. People need to stop it with this right hand path and left hand path is not the Christian thing of on the right hand or on the left hand of the God. It's something different. Um, so there's there's that to pay attention to. Right. Um, what this. And. So they're all gateways. One of the things that um, I'll, I'll be talking about Ferrifaria later this 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 month. Um, one of the things about Ferrifaria is it uses the times, it uses the places and the methods of old to work its thing. It is open to using stuff at different times, and it's not so black and white as what a person is used to, whatever. So that's why I've been trying to work in some of that stuff into my current because it's like you know it's, it's useful it's it's useful so I'm, I'm switching and trying to you know because i i try to make these grimoires something that teaches me and a lot, uh, opens up a little bit more of an experience and 